Surprise, motherfucker. Hello, this is Kev. This is Black Men Being Brutally Honest. Uh, and I uh, want y'all to, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And um, yeah, one of the things that I do here, and I do find myself often doing, is speaking up for the brothers because, you know, it, it, it ain't like that. It's something that, you know, we actually welcome as a group of men because we like to think of ourselves as lions. We, we like to, you know, we're, we're, we're the guys that we don't need no help. You know, we can fight the world and, and, and still, you know, fight some more. But I don't know, it is, it is the, the choice of words that people use and the war of words. And, you know, when it comes to that, I, I'll go and admit for me, uh, I like to win that war of words. But in the war of words, you often find something in, in, in some of those conversations that really don't make sense. Like, okay, let me put it to you like this. I would never come at somebody with something that I was responsible for as well. Like, you know, we, we do this finger pointing blame game stuff. So basically, you have these this bitter following of women out here who love to call you know dudes various names and really honestly it since you know y'all like to follow these doctrines like the black woman is god and everything comes from the black woman then obviously you know <laughs> that this is this is your responsibility too so anyway I ask my quick I, I ask this question, okay. I'm always like with females that disagree with me, and you know, a lot of the males too, for some reason. Um I often run into this word here. They'll they'll call me ashy. They'll call other guys ashy. And it just seems like they're calling the guys that just disagree with them ashy. But they're always reminding these guys that, oh, you got a black mother. You must hate your mom. You, you know, you're being ashy and other stuff. Like, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. So you're acknowledging that all these ashy dudes got mothers. So with, with that being said, are their wounds ashy as well? <laughs> like, did, did they procreate with an ashy dude and then make an ashy baby? Because I mean, if you got ash in your life, that's a that that's a uh, that's a reflection of you. Just like the video in the beginning, you know that lady's face was all ashed up. So I mean, I just want y'all to think about some of the dumb ass shit that y'all say out here. Uh, I mean, you you can't. Okay, all right, all right. See, y'all call these dudes this, and you keep saying that black men are ashy because you want all black men to be lumped into one box and feel a certain way because there are some that have fallen short. And, and, and honestly, I do understand that there are some super weirdos out there. And, you know, you're allowed to defend yourself and your integrity when it comes into the question by a, a virtual loser. So, you know, I understand, but it's like some of you girls are just so embittered to the point where you throw yourselves under the bus. Because, you know, I would never want to think of myself as ashy, and that means that everything I produce is ashy as well. So if there's an ashy dude out there, he was produced by an ashy mother. Maybe his father's a little ashy too. Ashy, cut, like, it, are you talking more of a mindset or the fact that nigga don't use lotion? Because here's what I want. Here's what I set out to accomplish with this video. I want us to stop hanging ourselves with words. Seriously. If you're hanging yourself with what represents you, 
who's the stupid one? Uh, in fact, who's the ashy one? <laughs> and, 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 you know, let, let's talk about this because I talk about it quite often. The whole shit on men thing. Love, like, especially black men. You love just pooping all over black men whenever, you know, certain narratives come out because y'all hate words that these guys are saying. Words. So you call the guy's ashy, but you know, you already acknowledge he has an ashy mother. So it doesn't come from an ashy womb. You had a, I had a YouTuber a long time ago say something to the effect of, you know, uh, the, the, the black woman's womb has little to no value. And uh, I kind of slightly disagree with that because, you know, there are, you know, women out there that breed success. I do believe that. There are outliers. But, I mean, a lot of these wounds out here sure are ashy. I <laughs> shit. So, in other words, this is something that is coming out of your mouth. It's like, I don't even use the word, like, ashy for real. And when I refer to anyone. But, but, like, but like I said, since everything comes from you... That ashy stuff came from y'all too. It's like you open your legs and poof. It's just like niggas coughing trying to eat the put. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, that was a little intense. But it, but all all I'm saying is this: lube your life up, lotion your life, cocoa butter it, do whatever you got to do. But just just stop the ashy. Stop raising ashy. As a matter of fact. Um, yeah, we often say this thing is like, you know, you, you say where these guys come from or who's raising these guys. You are. You're raising these guys. You're raising these ashy dudes. If the ashy dudes are a problem, shoot, stop raising like that. I mean, there was a Facebook post that I read and it asked a, it asked a very interesting question. Uh, and here's the screenshot. I'm not going to put the name up, but I'm not going to take credit for asking this one because I do believe, in, I do believe in giving credit as credit is due, but everybody doesn't want their name put out there. So, uh, it, 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 it's that the question is this, here's the question. Why aren't black women raising up their sons to be like Derek Jackson, Ace Metaphor, Steve Harvey, etc. Simple. There's a simple answer to this. Because they're raising them to be ashy. See, this is a very good question. Uh, they praise these men for what they do, you know, what they say about the black relationship and quote-unquote holding black men accountable. Well, I mean, shoot. Well, I can, if, if they can hold black men accountable, I can hold you accountable for, you know, producing that ashy seed. But I want to end the video on this note. The, the, the true problem isn't ashiness. The problem is insecurity. Your, your, your own personal insecurities uh, to the point where you, you feel like that, you know, you feel so bad about yourself that you have to bring down others around you especially uh, black men who are smarter than you. You know, if, 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 if you want to if, if you want to talk about Ashy, check your home first before you come on social media and try to fake it for everyone. Like Ashy has an impact on you personally or you're not Ashy yourself. <laughs> yeah, I about said enough about this. But uh, anyway, I'm going to ask the question that is the subject of this video and I want you to leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do ashy dudes come from ashy wombs? Also, uh, thinking black men, when you run into and are accosted by females uh, on social media that are bitter, just, just remember this, it, it, it's not your fault that her life and her sacred treasure, supposedly, is ashy. Believe you me, that one right there, you are not accountable for. All right.
Like, share, subscribe, and Kev, we trust. Goodbye.